What's going on, everyone? My name is Chris, and welcome back to some F1 23. And today we're going to be uh, trying out another new racetrack. This time around, it is going to be uh, Las Vegas, another new Grand Prix racetrack that we're going to have uh, this season. In the last episode, I did Qatar. If you guys uh, haven't watched that, go on ahead and watch that uh, if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, I I'm having a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun on that video. And, you know, I, I think I'm going to have the same thing today. I think a, a patch came out, I think, uh, because it went from 1.3 to 1.4 uh, when you boot up the game uh, compared to when I played it in the first place or originally. Uh, it was version 1.3, so now it's 1.4. I don't know what really changed. Um, but, I mean, as long as everything is good, it's the only thing I care about. Um, but I got my graphics all set. I got my audio set and everything like that there might be some framing issues i'm not 100 sure we'll see but enough talk and this also kind of has a loads pretty slowly not a huge fan of that uh there we go okay so back in f1 world because we have to go over here to grand prix and uh, we're just gonna go on ahead and do a, a good old race around uh good old las vegas and uh here it is las vegas it is apparently a hard track, and it is a 3.8 mile track with 17 turns. It is it definitely does not look like a track that has 17 turns, but I guess it does, even though it's literally shaped like a fucking boat. Does it not look like? Does it not look like it's shaped like a boat? It looks like it's shaped like a boat. <laughs> uh, I hope I'm not the only one that thinks that it's shaped like a boat. So, yeah, this is gonna be the track we're gonna go into. Uh, last episode we did we played as Aston Martin, and we weren't that very quick. Uh, which kind of, you know, hurt a little bit. Um, but it, it, it it's whatever. So, y'all know me. I'm a fan of Alpine. We're going to go on ahead and choose Alpine. And uh, I would have equal performance, but uh, I don't think I'm going to. So, we'll pick Alpine. And uh, I would choose Gasly, but I'm going to go on ahead and choose uh, good old Ocon. Ocon's doing pretty good this season. So... Uh, difficulty, I had it at 82 for Qatar. That is how difficult it was. Uh, see if it's a little bit different here. I think I'll bump it up to 92. Just to be safe. Just to maybe see if I can have something. Uh, all this is the same. The simulations, the rules, and flags, I think, are the same. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Immersive broadcast. Oh, yeah, okay. That's for pit stops. That's right. So... That's all good. Weather, we'll have it at dynamic, realistic, and then a yeah, we'll do we'll do perfect just for just for Vegas. If we get a rain race at Vegas, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, assist the same, so no big deal there. And then the weekend structure, it'll just be uh, one shot qualifying and a very short race just to uh, to get set up. I guess we'll also do a single session of practice. We won't do it for that long. Um, so yeah, I mean, and then, actually, I probably don't even need to do qualifying in all honesty. I guess we'll just do, well, I'll put qualifying on and then I guess we'll just start at the back. So we'll do a single session though. We'll do a single session. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go on ahead and jump on in to, uh, the second newest track, Las Vegas. Let's go. All right. So we're here at good old... Vegas and uh I mean pit lane looks pretty cool uh looks about as as good as it's gonna get so we'll do we'll do a couple, we'll do a couple laps around here and uh we'll see how everything kind of kind of handles I do like the smooth transitioning from certain things so pretty good Ooh, yeah I mean pretty good looking I'm not gonna lie all right here we go first laps see how I do I don't know how well I am gonna do but uh I'm up on a braking zone here oh yeah so already pretty good oh god yeah pit lane is a bit weird on this game or on this track Here's turn, I think this is turn one, yeah. Oh, touch the wall. 
You want to know what that part actually reminds me of? That part reminds me of, um, Vietnam. If, uh, there wasn't, or if the little stadium section would, uh, just go into a straight line instead of, like, an additional corner. That's what that kind of reminded me of. A little bit... A little bit odd for me to think that's what it reminds me of, but it's true. Like, it, it really does remind me of that. Oh, God. I mean, thus far, I'm I'm already liking it. Oh, down the wall again. Am I damaging my front wing doing this? No, surprisingly not. Okay, just want to remind you to keep an eye on your tire temperatures, Ooh. which you can do on the temperature panel of the MFD. There we go. We We're going to continue that. And, and I think right here, this is going down the Vegas Strip, I think. Yeah, so got the Hotel Plaza over to the right. Maybe... I don't know if uh, Gordon Ramsay's uh, Hell's Kitchen is around. I think uh, we've already went and visited that. I think his Hell's Kitchen's in Vegas, is it not? Or no, I think it's somewhere else. No, I think it is in Vegas. I can't remember. All right, here we go. This final section, I can't remember what it quite reminds me of. Like I, I, I have like a, my thing, like, like it's on the tip of my tongue, and I just can't like quite remember what that fucking section reminds me of. Yeah, that section really reminds me of, uh, the stadium section in Vietnam. It's so weird to think that. So I'll do a couple more laps around here. And, uh, then we'll dive right on into the race. A lot of these corners remind me of, like, certain tracks and whatnot, so... A little, like, a blast from the past. Oh my god. That was actually really- that was actually good that that happened. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do a few more laps around here, and then I'm, uh, oh, wow, oh my god, I, I'm okay. Woo! A few more laps, and then we'll go right into the race. I'm not even gonna bother to do qualifying. Hey, the F1 drivers are up there. That's pretty cool. Ooh, baby. Well, I think uh, I know I've only done two extra laps, but I I got a good feeling. I got a good feeling in this car, man. I got a good feeling in it. So let's head back to the garage and uh, not do qualifying or anything like that. So we'll go here for fourth. I wonder where we're going to end up on it. A launch stroll? How in the diddly fuck can launch stroll do a 136.1? And Fernando Alonso can only do a 137.3. Is this game trying to tell us something? Is this what's going to happen in real life? Is Lance Stroll really going to get a 136-1? No, mine's my best time's a 136.7. Get your fucking contacts it's on straight. That's insane. That's on the softs, but fuck, dude. That's insane. 136.1. That is insane. All right, so we're not going to do qualifying. I'll still skip to it. Actually, no, I'll skip to the race. So we'll, we'll skip qualifying, and let's see... See how it all goes. I guess we'll see how uh, we fared in, in practice, like where we ended up finishing. Podium pass. Yeah, yeah. It's where do we finish? Of our 14th. Okay, not bad. Verstappen, Russell, so I think we're going to have a lot to work up for. Logan's, to Logan's P10. Is over. That is However, we'll be back insane. For more Formula One action. All right, let's go to this race. Tickets for this one sold out in a matter of seconds, some for as much as a million dollars. There's a massive interest in Formula One in the United States, so it's no surprise we have a third race in America. Welcome to the Las Vegas Grand Prix. Well, tonight we go racing around the bright lights of Las Vegas, 3.8 miles under the Nevada night sky and thousands of neon lights. There are landmarks everywhere you look, punctuating the 17 corners and two DRS zones. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. Edging out Sergio Perez, who lines up P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Leclerc, Russell, Sainz, Stroll, Fernando Alonso, 
Gasly, Hamilton, Joe, Norris, Albon, Magnussen, Bottas, Sonoda, Holkenberg, Oscar Piastri, Sargent, De Vries, and Esteban Ocon lines up at the back of the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box, and it's fantastic to have you with us here, but I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the rundown into Turn 1, a bit like preparing to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It will keep them focused on the moment and on their surroundings as we build towards the start of the Grand Prix. All right, so here we are. We saw the new uh, starting lineup things changed from last season. I like it. Uh, car setup's pretty much the same. Can't really change a whole lot of it, except for front wing and some of these other things. <laughs> Apparently the front suspension is at a 40 and the rear right height's at a 40, which is insane to me. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know how this race is going to go. I don't think we don't have a formation lap or anything like that, so we're just going to jump right on into it. So let's just let's just go. Starting in the corner, which is crazy to me. Oh yeah. Wow, what a start. Holy God. Hulkenberg. Hello. Wow, I'm already up two pos positions higher than where I was in Qatar. And it lift out of the throttle there just so I didn't see the wall and slam into it. I'm already max fucking gear. I thought, I'd, I, thought I wasn't. Well, we close right back up to the AI. So that's a plus. Can I send it down the inside of Norris here? Woohoo! Yes, I can. All right, we're up into the eleven. Ow! All right, we're good. I don't think I have damage on. <laughs> yeah, I probably don't need ERS through here. Holy shit! What a dive! What a dive! Up into top, up into the top ten. Let's go. Oh, uh, now we're going down the strip. I think this is the Vegas Strip. So one of the comments can uh, tell me if it is or isn't. I'm pretty sure this is the Vegas Strip. You know, I'm curious if they, if we like look around this track, like in the in the theater, if we can actually find like certain places that we otherwise would not be able to see on the track, like certain landmarks that just you you're not able to see. <laughs> Oh no, I'm out of ERS, man. But you know what? We're up in the top 10. Hamilton's in front. In top 10 now. Keep it up. But yeah, this first section right here really reminds me of um, Vietnam, if you could like full throttle it all the way around Vietnam. And if Vietnam didn't have that little pink there before the straight. It was a tinier straight. Got a break early, man. You never know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna set it on the inside of Hamilton. Feeling a little frisky. Ooh, yeah. Ride the wave. The rave. What? Oh my god. Ride the wave, baby. Alright, so now. Ooh, boy. I guess all we really gotta do is just stick with our, uh, our teammate, Gasly. We're up into P8 and 9. I don't know if uh, Podium is really on the table here. I don't know if really trying for one is the best course of action. I have no ERS. <laughs> the Mercedes, though, it ain't that quick. The Astons are going at it up there. Oh, look at Gasly! Oh, they make contact. Turmoil with an Aston Martin. Controversy. Alonzo and Stroll got together. We got a good slipstream on Gasly. Look at this shit. Okay, DRS is now available. All right, DRS. I think there was like what three DRS straights or two? There might actually be only two. 
you got this one right here coming out of this little stadium section. And then you have another one down that long straight. Oh, Alonzo going for it. Does he complete the pass? That he does. And that is GG for Alonzo. Or for Stroll. My God. Yeah, I can skip the corner. I forgot that has an effect on my license. Yeah, it's fine. I forgot I enabled that. It's just interesting to, to have it. Have it on. And then... Right up here is the braking zone. Oh my god. We are... The, 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 the top... Like, the podium is, like, right in front of us. Holy shit. Not gonna have enough ERS, though, to... Try to pass Stroll. But look at that bunch of cars, dude. That's the Mercedes and the Ferraris, the Red Bull. Alonzo's getting involved in it. We're going to make a pass on Stroll. Woohoo! Oh my god. Maybe we can get a podium. Got a fight going on up here. Alonzo ain't gonna like me for this, and again, doesn't really like Ocon. We're increasing our gap on the car behind by around a Ooh. second the lap. I did not know if Leclerc was gonna give me that. I thought he was just gonna shut the door on me. I'll give him the space. He gave me space. I'll give him space. See? That's what being a good driver is like, Alonzo. Yeah, sorry, I love you. Love you, Alonzo. Oh my god, still hanging. Tough. Fucking hell. I will get this move done right into here. I'm calling it. God, signs and pairs are still going at it, bro. Alright. If I can just stay within this distance to Russell, I'll be okay. And so far we are. And I think it's going to continue to be like that if these two up here keep fighting. Oh yeah, this might be a three and one. Russell going for it. Oh, this better happen. Oh my God! Three cars at once, baby, let's go! And we're ahead! Science came back! This better happen in real life, dude. This better fucking happen in real life. Even if there isn't a fight going on for the lead, there better be a fight going on for podium positions. Okay, let's go. Final lap. Let's go. Final lap. Yes, let's go. Oh, I'm American and this makes me happy. This better be a sign of thing of good things to come for Alpi, man. Oh my god. Especially here at this track. Signs might get me back though. Because I didn't get any DRS. I'm, hang I'm hanging around this outside, boy. Come on, you can win that place back. I know I can win this place back. Do you know who the fuck you're talking to, Mark? You're my race engineer the whole time in F122. Do you not know who I am? I make these passes work, all right? Well, I'm not going to have any DRS down the straight. But I really hope it don't matter. Oh, fuck! I went deep, and I didn't mean to. Fuck! Nah, I can hold him. I can hold it. I can hold it. We're good. We're good. Y'all believe in me, right? Oh, my fucking God. That's scary as shit. No, 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 no. Yeah, I know. I'm not giving you the bottom, God damn it. Send it. Holy shit! <laughs> Max just happened wins it was fucking new. Oh yeah. That was fucking awesome. That was fucking awesome. Alright, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. Okay, confirmed. Vegas is gonna be a good track. Saturday night drama. And a podium. Driver of the day. We did it.
<laughs> that was sick as fuck. And in the heart of the Nevada desert, they take the checkered flag to win the Las Vegas Grand Prix. They've hit the jackpots and will be celebrating long into the night. Tell me out, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? I really feel the track layout combined with the track temperatures we saw today suited their car. These cars come alive when the tires are just at the right temperature and the driver did a great job managing that as well. They just look so comfortable out there. It's like anything, it always looks so easy when it all just clicks. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sports that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. Ooh, no po new uh, podium animation for the winner. That's cool. Does every driver like a unique podium celebration? Oh. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Cheers. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Music's a little low, but not a whole lot I can do about that. You know, we may had our we may have had our doubts of this track, but holy shit, that was amazing! Like, oh my god, that was awesome. That was the best fucking racing I've ever had. Woo. That was awesome. This this track's got some potential. It's got some potential. If we don't see this in real life, I want, it, get 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 your money back. Because apparently, if you spend a million dollars on a ticket. Get that million dollars back. It's not worth it. Holy shit, dude. That was awesome. Um, I don't know what to say. We got to see a few new things. We got to see uh, the the uh, different trophy... Uh, the Or the trophy gift, I think that's what it's called. Uh, different podium celebration again. Uh, I like it. They're, it's pretty cool. I like it. Racing's awesome. It is so much better than an F122. I can tell you that right now. I can actually, like do what I want to do without the worry of the game being like no <laughs> just saying no <laughs> so yeah just what a fantastic race that th this new favorite track ladies and gentlemen new favorite track and uh, what difficulty was that on like 85 or something like that on like master or no it's, I think it was 83 on master just imagine us doing that on 100% or a 100 legend like this was master what will happen when we go to legend in my team dude holy fuck i don't want to think about that right now i don't I, i'm not doing that yet i will do it but i'm not doing it yet I've got a few more things to do <laughs> not doing it yet though fuck that all right i got 1200 cash and i got a principal contract an uncommon contract okay it's probably for the F1 world, which I will do also eventually. Again, I got a lot to do. <laughs> so much things to do on this game, and I love it. <laughs> and with this game being absolutely fucking fun, like, uh, I, don't, I don't know what else to tell you. But, yeah, I mean, that, that was gr that was awesome. I, I love the racing. I don't think it'll get it. I, I don't know if it could get any better than that, dude. I'm just going to be honest. Um, Yeah, What what else can I say? Um, that was just, that was awesome. That was great. That was awesome. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, I, I, uh yeah, words. They're, they're kind of hard to say right now, but that's it. So we've checked out the new tracks. Uh, I want to see two tracks in particular to see about the changes and whatnot. Um, and I'm not going to spoil them quite yet again. However, when we do get to it, I will say what it is. The tracks that I'm trying to, you know, figure out what changed. What is Copendium? Oh, I think it's like it's another version of like F1 Life or something like that, I think. Oh, yeah, here's my uh, car and suit. You like it? <laughs> Maybe we'll use this for my team. I have no idea. Let's see. I come up with a different design. Got all the colors and everything. Loving it. F1 World is better than F1 Life. So much better. Um, but yeah, it, uh, this was, this was fun. I loved it. I liked it. Uh, some dude's name, Aston Martin Racing. 
Uh, I'm gonna go right back into here and turn down the the music audio because at that point enough to three would have done something a little bit different. Not really, but you know, it's whatever. And then we'll go right back into F1 world just because it's, it's, it's nice and calm right here. It's nice and calm. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell down below for more. Uh, hopefully, you guys are excited for the F1 content or whatever that's going to be coming out with this game uh, over the next like two to three weeks, I have to imagine. NASCAR content is not going to be up for a while. Uh, I might pre record some in advance. And then whenever I feel like, okay, I've done enough of like, you know, F1 and everything, I'll like operate between like NASCAR and F1 content and whatnot. Try to do like NASCAR one day, then F1 the next, and then NASCAR the next, and then so on and so forth. Um, but not right now. We got a lot to do, and I'm loving every second of this. So thank you guys all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day, everyone. I love you guys, and goodbye.